I'm trying to figure out if this is gonna be best birthday party ever. Low boy, a skid loader. Here we are, the day after Thanksgiving, and we are on an adventure. Something I didn't want to buy. Then after I bought it, I had a little bit of buyer's remorse, so I was like, Eric, you really don't need this. Then, I was bored combining, and I kept looking at the picture of what we bought, and I was like, huh, well maybe if we do this and do that. Hey man, you want to come with, but this kind of, this kind of strange adventure, don't you? I do, and actually, so I was telling Don last night, I said, only your brother would roll up with a hundred grand in the equipment to buy it. Today, I set my new record, 1.26 miles, backing down a road. <laughs> Here's what we bought. Nineteen seventy one Bronco Sport. Now it's rusty as can be. The description says it has no motor. It actually that is the only picture I have seen of it. So I have no idea what the passenger side looks like. I know there's a door, I know there's a tailgate, I know there's a hood and a front grill. So we got the basics covered. It says no motor. I, what, my question is, is like so many things we bought, how horrible is it gonna be? <laughs> like when you're sitting in it, how many holes are you gonna be able to see the ground through the floorboards? The other question is, is how horrible is the passenger side where they didn't even show it? Like not even a picture. Like we had an online auction with only one picture. Yeah, I'm hoping it looks this good when we get there. Yeah, there's a tree on it. Oh, you should have came and looked at it. Really? You didn't think you should have like disclosed this? So, okay, the auctioneer has told me like, hey, bring a winch, bring like trailer, you know, bring front tires because it doesn't have those. Bring a whole bunch of stuff. So we brought low boy and skid loader because yeah, that's just gonna make life, we hope better, like way better. We're hoping if everything goes planned, we can just go right underneath it, lift it up, set it on trailer, go away. Uh, that's the goal. Uh, in and out in under what, hour, hour and a half? Kind of excited. Uh, it's definitely been the year of no fun other than we bought a Dodge, which I think is definitely fun. Um, it's been work, work, work. Another fun adventure. We've got about a two hour drive ahead of us. Um, I don't know, I'm, I'm kind of setting it up already for the letdown because I'm like, ah, oh, you know, we can do this, we can do that. What got this all started is there's no hiding that these things have like skyrocketed in price the last handful of years. Uh, but because I got a 70 Bronco, I have buckets and buckets of Bronco parts. And I just have a lot of Bronco parts. So, I don't know, maybe the goal is to get her home, see if we can't throw some form of a motor in it, get it running. We're gonna wait and see till we see it. But right now, yeah, haven't seen the passenger side, haven't seen the front grill. Don't know if it has a transmission, transfer case. It, all it said was no motor. No, okay. Motor. Yeah, it looks like it has a motor, but no radiator. So that's what makes me wonder, is this an old picture? Yeah. <laughs> now there's just nothing left. So I'm hoping somewhat of front axle, rear axle, frame rails, doors, tailgate, hood, grill, I'll be happy. Like as long as all those main components are there, from then on out, it's salvageable. Uh, so we've been running around this morning, just getting everything loaded up. Thought I had a lot of it ready to go for last night, but yesterday was Thanksgiving. The other thing, the caveat today, today is my birthday, so this is kind of my birthday present to myself. Like, heck yeah. Uh, let the adventure begin? Yeah. Okay. Worst case scenario. Um, it's gone. Worst case scenario. No offense, only the frame. Yeah, he wins the worst case scenario. Yeah. Bronco. It snaps in half. How big of a crap bucket is this gonna be?
so I'm 37 today and I just broke my old record. I used to, my old record was backing up in this metro, three, cities blo three city blocks to get into the job site. Out in the country, it was to back up three quarters of a mile because I went the wrong way. Today, I set my new record, 1.26 miles, backing down a road. <laughs> hey, I only had to pull up once and that was because I was making sure my phone didn't fall off the dash. Question. Yeah. Was it fun? Um, that tree caught me for a loop. <laughs> Bam, what's that? Yeah, oh you. my God. Okay, who's yelling at me? <laughs> Where's the foreman? <laughs> Here we go, we're gonna detach. We're gonna pick up, what's the name for this thing? Crappy Red? No. Doors ain't shutting because there's nothing left to hold it there. Did you notice though, frame rails are off the ground. That is a huge win. And what I wanted, rear end, front end are there, drive shafts are there, transfer cases there, transmission is there, which even only three speed, no big deal. Way more cab components are there than I thought. Uh, so now we just gotta get it from on that side of the shed to this side of the shed where we can set it on the low boy. Step one, let the done, let the party begin. crazy thing is I think the top is uh, technically holding it from falling over but the cool thing is frames there it is a manual um, We're trying to get the tailgate closed because that just makes it stay better if we get it closed. Whoa, that's actually a nicer shape than I thought it was going to be. Okay, wait. The Ford, we've done this before. It's hitting something right here. Yep, that's the lock. Yep, nope. <laughs> no. Mouse? Something else. Oh, something else. Second. Okay, better. It's kind of fun when you don't care. <laughs> yeah. I think we're gonna call that good enough because I think what we're gonna do is run a strap when we get this down. I think we're gonna run straps over the top just so that, that doesn't do that. Yeah. And then our door over here. Yeah, they, it's missing the little pull strap right here. Yeah. Uh, well, the whole point of that is a couple bolts you can pull your doors off. There is one secret to this truck. Oh, no. I spoke too soon. There's missing one trim piece. I don't really care, though. I'm still kind of falling in love with it. Well, drums cracked. Look at that. <laughs> okay, that's junk. But nice thing is we got the hub. Okay, ish. Yeah, not terrible. It is kind of like the Dodge, yeah. The door open, yep, strap holding doors. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this might be the first for the hood and the tailgate to hit the hood with nice shape. Um, yeah, dude, there's some cool. As dumb as all this sounds, there was a starter in back. We can get that rebuilt. We got the bumpers, trannies there. Oh, it's still spinning. Nice. Do you think you can get it as nice as your other Bronco? Oh, yeah. For, like, a really big budget, yeah. You could. Yeah. I don't think you really want to. <laughs> it's going to cost a lot. I think it had a plow in it at one time, because that's what that plug would be. There is some cool northern Minnesota nostalgia here that is kind of cool. It's like a push um, I think it was the old plow mounts. Yeah. Or put, yeah, maybe they had a push. See, I think the plow mount went on there. I think they had the bumper in front of it. Yeah, see if you can get it out just so it don't break. No flying glass. I put the headlight cover right there. Yep. Nice. Good job. It didn't break.
Yeah, but there's some stuff that uh, I can straighten out. Straighten out. I mean, it sounds stupid, but even just having the bumpers, it's a couple hundred bucks. Okay, let's set it back down. Ah, oh, the stuff normal people don't do on a Friday, Black Friday. <laughs> yeah. Well, we went shopping on Black Friday. We did, yeah. A little different thing. It was just our size. 